hello traders welcome back to my channel in this video we are going to be looking at in you know, gold we're going to be analyzing euro us dollar and some currency pairs this is a trade that we just took on gold now but we are basically going to be doing a weekly uh, review on gold gold have been in a downtrend you know we are going to look at other currency pairs as well King sleep by the grace of God, I bring you guys strategies, tutorials on the forex market, volatility indices, metals like gold, Nasdaq, VIX75, many other instruments. You want to subscribe to the channel by hitting on the subscribe button and notification. Now, button. let me just Another take reason. a quick recap on this trade that I took. Actually, this was a scalping trade, and if you look at it, we enter a 15 minutes time frame, and then we are using our trend line and our chart pattern. So if you look at it, you see now that we actually connected these highs, right? We get these highs and then we got these highs. So price actually rejected once, twice, thrice, right? This was the zone where we are looking for entry. Now we went to five minutes time frame, right? Because here we already have a downtrending market. We will see that price will get in lower lows and lower highs. So here, right, you see price reacts like this. And each time you have a pullback, you have an impulsive move, right? So from there now, I went to the five minutes time frame, and in the five minutes time frame, I had to identify a chart pattern. So this is a flag pattern, and you see now that price actually consolidated within this pattern, and what happened? It got broken here. This is where price got broken, and this was the entry here, and then the previous targeting the previous low here, price has actually gone up, and now we have price moving a downtrend. Now looking at gold generally, we will see from the H4 time frame that we have a downtrending market, right? So we have a downtrending market, gold actually reacted to a key zone, and we have price getting lower lows, lower highs, lower lows, and now it's wise to be looking for sell setups in, during the course of the week. So so now we basically will be expecting a very strong down move but as we see we have had an impulsive move and price has pulled back a little so price has pulled back a little and in a smaller time frame let's say the h1 time frame here we should be looking for sell setups like i showed you i've already had some scalping entries so far this video was supposed to be made yesterday so that you guys should have been able to catch some more too right but if you look at smaller time frames like the 15 minutes that's where we can be looking for our entries looking for scalp opportunities and all of that so we see now that this is a demand zone which price has just tapped into and we have this opportunity exhausted so now we have to wait for what the next impulsive move this impulsive move to be completed out so when it completes out we need to see something like a pullback here right and then we look for chart patterns we look for breakout and then we look for further sales right we look for further sales and we extend this zone here so now we have this zone exhausted because even in the h4 time frame we have an exhaustion in the trend right i believe most people watching my videos are not trend are not swing traders so we will be looking for entries based on smaller time frame now if you look at it let's just look at our trend line in the four hours time frame perspective right so we can connect like this from the four hours right so you can connect like this okay and we are still expecting that this is a rejection zone here all right based on swing this is a zone near which price got broke, uh, broke out from so this is a possibility that you know apart from the scalping opportunities that we can be picking we can wait for price to pull back to this zone here right and then we'll be shorting for gold right so let alone we have similar situation a strong down trending market you know we have impulsive pullbacks right so now it's clear we have to be looking for sell setups in this scenario so let's use our trend lines in the bigger time frame and we connect right so we connect like that so you see this would have probably been a trend line setup that just showed up okay So notice how I usually use my trend line, make sure I get the touches. If I'm using this high, I make sure I get the touch, I get the touch. See now the price has come and reacted to that touch the third time, which if you are entering based on trend line, this would have been amazing, right? So right now, this was a good trading setup because we have to, if you are to connect like this, all right, you see now that we have two confluences. This is a zone which price has reacted to, and you can see connect this to be a chart pattern, right? So this is a chart pattern here actually which is like a flag this will be a good sell setup here 
right so remember the essence of this analysis is not only for you to know where the market is going to also for you to learn how to do this analysis properly so that you can use it in any market so here probably we'll be looking for a breakout probably we'll be having a breakout here and we'll be selling as price come back to retest right so this is uh, uh based on euro us dollar uh each one time frame now if you look at it let's drop further to the 15 minutes time frame so you can see exactly how price has reacted to this zone here look at it guys so i'm going to send the signal right away i'm going to send it in my telegram channel now so that we'll be expecting to be trading this breakout in our various forums right so right now i'm going to be shorting okay so now you can enter aggressively by selling if price close below here and then you are targeting this low here or if price happens to pull back to this highs here we can see have another opportunity sell opportunity there remember we already have a bearish bias here and we have this to be a strong resistance zone here so if price still happens to pull back to that zone up there we'll be looking for sales right that will be good sell setups or as well if price breaks out we have good sell setups as well so this is basically how we usually do our analysis because now we have an impulsive move and we have a good entry now what is good about this entry is that we have this is an entry on a pullback because whenever we have a down move like this we usually have pullback and this pullback sometimes will consolidate to make the next impulsive move right so we are not entering on continuation so you can see that here this is what we call continuation here you don't enter the middle of a trend like this you wait when price pulls back you look for entry right you wait when price pull back you wait for entry you wait when price pull back you look for entry you wait when price pull back you look for entry catch the next impossible move that is how trading is actually done right so let's look at another pair let's look at us dollar japanese yen and see where we are currently at okay us dollar japanese yen we have a strong downtrend market right we had price broke out from this killer guys look at this imagine we had to catch this move here it would have been a lot right so here we have a downtrending market so we don't want to be buy there right so let's look at the h4 time frame in the okay h4 time frame we have an amazing downtrending market so if you use our trend line here and then we connect look at that guys the trend line actually works perfectly here so meaning if we are using our trend line we have to be entering here we have cut you no know, one two trades so for those who uh, watch my videos on trend lines you understand that here this is the first the second this is the third so this would have been a very good shot so, so actually this was last week right so now you see price pulling back and price pulling back to this zone can give another good swing entry and another hand we have this to be this zone here has to, it's, it's like our supply in this situation is a supply zone and which price can tap and to fall so we're looking for sales here in us dollar japanese yen and then in another hand we can wait for price to actually break out of this pattern okay so if price goes up and tap here right what happened we can look expect something to happen like this right so we look for maybe something happen like this and then come you have a break and a retest like that that will be shutting I will catch in a lot of pips for the week, right? So let's look at GPU. GU, right? Okay, GU, we have an amazing downtrend as well. So here, this is already a sell setup that's presented. This is a zone here which price has cleared liquidity above there. And if you look at it, I'm a little bit late. I would have already shot this. Look at it, guys. So let's adjust this trend line okay so if you look at it very well we have our uptrending our downtrending market here right so this was a this is a good trading setup that i just missed so i don't want to jump in i don't usually like jumping in because if you jump in you incur a white stop loss so you see now the price has reacted once twice thrice so this is the third time we trend line and here is also a resistance zone here which gives a confirmation for a good sell setup right so if you are short in here if you are short here earlier by now I should have been in profit this is how i've entered i hope you guys you are taking note of how i'm doing the analysis because at the main time like i usually say we are best entering at pullbacks right so if you look at here you see that we have once you see pullback price usually drop pullback price drop so in order to identify a pullback we wait for price to come back and retest and then we are shorting right but if we miss those entries at the initial stages we can also be going to smaller time frame and then we look for what chart patterns so we're looking for break out of chart patterns and then we are looking to be entering aggressively like for instance you connect like this okay 
you connect like that and then you wait for price to break out of here maybe sometimes you break out and then they will be looking for our sell setups so basically for the uh, pairs that we have analyzed you guys have seen mostly we are going to be looking for sell setups for this week right so i have to post this video so that those people who have now your watch can be able to watch and then also learn how to analyze like this so you see this is even acting like a parallel channel here right acting as a parallel channel and you have to be a very good sell to be targeting and you see that price can move right down like this so that's how you can use your trend lines you use your liquidity grab you lose smart money you use supply and demand and they are able to catch good trading opportunities guys so i hope you find the video helpful if you if the video is helpful please just make sure you give me a thumbs up subscribe to the channel also join our telegram channel so that you should be updated on the various analysis that we are going to be bringing for the week and make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new by hitting on the subscribe button and notification bell to not miss out